Hi, this video is Beethoven's Violin Concerto. It is not the whole concerto, it is just the first little tune, but it's a very beautiful but simple melody. It's in D major, so if you notice the first two bars are really the scale of the D major starting on an F sharp. So when you're looking at it to start with, perhaps to just check the notes, the first two bars of the first line and the first two bars of the second line are, of course, identical. So have a look at them, just check that you understand that. You're going to be starting with an F sharp on the D major scale. So, so why don't we just practice the fingers for the first two bars, starting on that F sharp and without the bow. So make a little L with your right hand. Put your thumb in the corner of your fingerboard and we're going to pluck with our first finger extended and we're going to start on our second finger with a really nice handshake, no squashing of anyone, Bob or whoever you've got in your hand, a lovely slide shape here. And we're going to start with our F sharp. So that's the first part, which is just a D major scale starting on the F sharp. The rhythm is crotchets and quavers and then minims. So we start with crotchets, it's ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, a, ta, a. And that rhythm happens three times in the piece. So irrespective of the notes you're playing, that rhythm comes back three times. So just check the, which bars are the same rhythm. Okay, so um, the next li little chunk, so the next two bars, start with a G on the D string. So it's not your open G. It's the third finger on the D string. So walk your fingers up and we're going to go, um, it goes back down the scale this time. Now the tricky bit here is it lands on the first finger on an E and then you have to jump your first finger over to the G string. So I'll just play you those two bars. So going back, we're starting with three. And the notes you're playing are G, F sharp, E, F sharp, D, E, and then A, which is one finger on the G string. Okay. Now the next two bars are exactly the same as the beginning. And then the last two bars, they've helpfully written the fingers in for you. So it's first finger on the A string, which is a B, and then a third finger on the D string and a first finger on the D string. And then you finish with your F sharp, which is the same note you began with. So that last two bars, one finger on the A, which is a B, and then you're gonna play G, which is three fingers on the D string, one finger on the D string, which is an E, and then open A, and then put your second finger down on the D string. Great, um, I'll play it through once with the bow. So I'm going to count in four beats. And you really need to keep your bow as slow as possible on the minims and the semi-brief, the four beats and the last note. I'm using full bows for all the crotchets 
and I'm using a short amount of bow either at the point, the upper half of the bow, or the lower half of the bow for the quavers. So short, short. And then you've got lots of room to play your minim. And then short, short. And then the final thing I'll say is just make sure your elbow comes up so you can play on the G string. So don't forget your elbow needs to come up when you're playing on the lower strings of your violin. Good, enjoy that.